Is there too much green happening right now? Like, should I have worn a different shirt? No, Katie, you do a great, sweetie. Don't worry about it. Green's my favorite color and they deserve to know. The world deserves to know. Hey, what's up? Hello, my name's Katie. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. And guess what? If you've been here before, you're about to be shook because I was shook because I read Home Before Dark in October. Like I said, I was going to like the whole year. I was like, I'm going to read this in October. Katie, you're going to read it. And then I freaking did. Like, I'm so proud of myself because like literally I never, I never stick to a plan. Anyway, this book is about a girl, Maggie Holt. And she, when she was five, for 20 days, she lived in a house that her dad says is haunted. And he wrote a book about it. And it's basically like he wrote like Amityville horror, basically. And it became super famous. But her entire life, like she read this book, but her parents won't answer any questions about it. So she thinks that he's full of shit. She's like, it didn't really happen because she doesn't remember any of it. And she's like, I don't think so. So 25 years later, when he dies, he leaves her the house, the haunted house. And she's like, why do you still own that? What? That doesn't make any sense. So she goes back to the house, even though the mom is like, never go back there. And she's like, I'm going to renovate it. But really, she just wants to find the truth of whatever happened. So she goes back there and then all this stuff starts happening that happened in the book. And she's like, what? Are ghosts real? What? So you're trying to figure out like the half of the book is telling from her point of view in the present day. And the other half of the book is chapters of the book that her dad Ewan Holt wrote and it's so fascinating like getting that dual perspective of like a book within a book was very very fascinating and I really really loved it so anyway you know we'll get to the review later but that's what this book is about and I hope that you have fun going on this journey with me chili sugar rim mezcal jalapeno lemon agave little orange juice and water It's so good. Perhaps too spicy of a boy. My tongue is on fire. Um, but it's delicious. And oh my God, let's talk about a theme. Look at this color and this color. Like these, that's a whole aesthetic. I don't know. I might start this book tonight.
it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna hurry home as fast as I can and hope that I don't ruin my book. Guys, I just got home from work. This was on my front door. It's my first ever book mail purchase. I'm kind of fucking freaking out. I don't know. Okay, this is from the most lovely subscriber in the entire world. Her name's Mara, and she's watched, like, every single one of my videos, and she comments on all of them, and she's always so freaking nice, and I'm just, like, getting tongue-tied. Like, this whole, this whole bit is about to be a hot mess because I am so freaking excited. She said that she sent me something, and I don't know what it is, and I'm so excited! Okay, we just need to open it. Let's open it because I'm about to freak out. Oh, there's a note. A gift for you. <laughs> so sweet! I hope you enjoy annotating and read it again one day and think of me. Thank you for the wonderful content. I love every video you make from Keep It Up, Mara. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mara. Mara, you are a queen among queens. You are, oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Like, she really bought me this. I'm just gonna get to annotating this book. Okay, <laughs> end this freaking heart-pounding, insane part of this video. Let's move on. Guys, apparently this, like, tropical storm we had, oh my god, I'm sorry. I think a big branch fell in this guy's car. Um, <laughs> that to say that there was this like tropical storm or whatever last night, or it might've been a hurricane. I don't know. I was asleep. It was at 5 a.m. I had just gone to sleep, <laughs> but the power went out. So eesh. apparently all of Atlanta is without power. They said like millions of people are without power in, in Atlanta. So <laughs> that sucks. So what I'm going to have to do is, because it's like, even though it's autumn, I mean, thank God it's autumn right now, uh, because it doesn't feel too bad in my apartment, but it is like 75 degrees. So it's not super fun and fresh. So I'm going to hopefully sit on my patio if it's not too like icky sticky out there and I'm going to read Home Before Dark. But I think I forgot to tell you this last night. I started reading The Night Swim by M Megan Golden. And I really like it. And I'm on page 191. So I'm over halfway through. Like, I could have finished this book completely probably yesterday if I'd started earlier than like 10 p.m. But I'm really liking it. And what this book is about is it is like a podcaster, kind of like the serial podcast where they're trying to solve like either... I don't, I don't know if she solves unsolved crimes, but she's solving crimes where... Um, somebody's been like falsely accused so you're following her while she's following a case um about a girl that was raped and murdered but then there's also another girl that keeps leaving notes for her saying like hey i have been trying to contact you i want you to help me solve this like about my sister or whatever and she doesn't know how the girl knows who she is because she has and her face has an anonymity because only her voice is famous so this girl hannah is like help me help me help me and then the other girl's like the podcaster is like this is creepy. So we're also following that story. Um, this is very, very fun, very fast, very fresh. I do not expect it to be a five star only because it's not that it's like, it's not that the plot is like so good. It's just like the concept is good and the writing is very fun and, and easy, but we'll see.
never really about to prize this armor again. Okay. It's still dark. It's getting darker right now. Actually, the sun came out again. But it was getting super dark in my apartment because I think it is gonna like rain again. It's gonna storm again. And I still don't have power. So it's getting really hot in my apartment too. So I'm actually going to go to Grace's house and we are going to film another video because I'm so excited. Like the video of me holding my books and like telling which one they were. Um, I loved that video so much. Like I'll have it linked, like you have to go watch it. But I wanna do like a tag so that other people can do that video too. Um, so I'm gonna go over to Grace's house and I'm going to haul all of my books over there. Or most of them. I'm gonna haul most of them over there, which is like, oh my God. I, I don't think I really, when I told her I was gonna do this, understood how big of a task that would be. But I'm gonna put all my books in my car and then I'm gonna take all of them out of my car, take them to Grace's house, do this video, put them all back. It's just, you know, wow, I'm about to have a day. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. Okay, I did my makeup in the dark. Let's see how it turned out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. Not too shabby. Just got to Grace's house, but I finished the night swim. I read it so freaking fast. Like, guys, so crazy. Um, I think I'm going to give this like a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, mostly just because it's not memorable. Like, I love the podcast element. I think that that is fantastic. I think more people should do that. But that's a good that's a good device to use for a story, but the story really wasn't that remarkable. I don't really understand why people give this such a high rating. It's good, but I'm not going to put it on my shelf. Like I would tell people like, yeah, sure. It was fun. Read it. But I'm not really going to remember what it's about. Like, I feel like I was forgetting what it was like the characters names and what was happening as I was reading it. Do you know what I'm saying? But okay, real quick, uh, the publishing company, whoever it was, St. Martin's Press. This is the prettiest freaking cover I've ever seen. Like, this and Ninth House are probably my favorite covers for the whole year. So, there's that. But yeah, it was good, but it wasn't great. And a lot of people say it's great. And I don't agree with that. Anyway, I'm gonna go inside and carry all these books in. Hmm. Just two girls getting cute for a video. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I was not going to film this because I am like just now halfway. And I was like, listen, Katie, we don't need like another bit of you reading on your patio. But oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> it's like every twist is so exciting and I don't see it coming. Like I don't see it coming and it's all so good. Like, oh my God, I love it. I love it. <sighs> okay, bye. Can't go that way. We'll take the long way to the free library. You remember when I said my power was out? Yeah, it's still out by the way. They said it might come back by November 1st. I love it. Like Riley Sager, He's freaking crushing it. Like, did not like Final Girls, love Lock Every Door, and I feel like this one's gonna be a five out of five. Like, if this isn't at least a 4.5, you know how it could be? The thing that could happen that could drop this to a three even is if these ghosts aren't real. I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad if these ghosts aren't real, and if they're not real, it better be a really, really good reason. Like, 
I'm making myself mad. Let me get back to reading. Guys, take a freaking look. My mom sent me these stick on nails. My coworkers are about to be shook tomorrow. Oh, Halloween, yes. It's Halloween. The biggest of yikes though, because I have no plan. And I woke up late. I thought I would have time to like formulate a costume thing for work. No. Um, so I'm just gonna start doing my makeup and see what happens. Ooh, also real quick, <laughs> I totally, I'm pretty sure forgot to even mention that I've been listening to the audiobook for Mexican Gothic by somebody. I don't remember who it is. Um, it's good. It's not great. The first 50% is so slow. It's like, okay, you could have wrapped all of that like 180 pages into like 50 pages and then we could have been off to the races with the actual horror and the actual like paranormal like crazy shit that's going on but no you chose to really really link it, lengthen that exposition out didn't care for that so right now i think i'm like 80 percent in and loving it like i think that this part of the book is really good but it just took way too long to get there so that's what i'm going to be listening to while i do my makeup So I'm like getting somewhere with this, not really sure what I'm going to do, but um, I finished Mexican Gothic and the ending, like the last 40% of the book is really good or maybe like the last like 35% or something is really good. I think I'm going to give it a, a 4 out of 5. I might give it a 3.5 just because it just took so long to get somewhere. And I think that if I was physically reading this book, I probably would have DNF'd it because the horror is at the very end. And I'm like, okay. And also I just didn't care about the love story, but um, yeah, I think it's gonna be a 3.5. But anyway, I'm not gonna go into an audiobook. I'm going to just listen to Spooky Scary Skeletons, a remix on repeat while I finish my makeup. This is the quality content that you're here for. I look fucking amazing. I didn't put my lipstick on because I realized that I made a gigantic oopsies. I forgot that we wear masks at work. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I'm already late. I show up looking like this, okay? And I think I'm probably gonna be the most made up person. You guys haven't met my best friend, Grace. You haven't met her yet. You don't understand. What in the world? Oh my god. This is like one of my favorite Disney characters of all time. I think my two favorite Disney characters is Hades and Megara. So, oh my god. Wait, hold on. This detail. I made this. This is the Shrinky Dink? Uh-huh. Oh my god, I love it. The mask is perfection. The hair is absolute perfection. Please tell me you're going to do a TikTok of oh when he god. gets mad. <laughs> of what? When he gets mad and his hair goes up oh in flames. Oh my gosh. 
Barry, I gotta get a full a full view of this. This is just you, my guy. Yeah. Right, so. Carter. You're just scoundrel and fiend you are. Nothing but biggest and scoundrel. Oh, yeah. You're making me so proud, Carter. I can't handle it. Oh! What? Oh my god, you're Pam Poovy. Literally, shut the fuck up. I fucking love it! Oh shit. Oh my god. You look so good. You this is a too. moment. Oh, thank you. Okay, hold on. The mask is so oh, cute. Oh, I love your nails. I didn't see <gasps> thank you. They glow in the dark. I knew they were gonna glow in the dark. Shut up. A little sweet. Probably gonna add some more coffee to it, but that'll do the freaking trick. I am going to finish Home Before Dark. I think I have 40 pages left. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Well, I say I have no idea what's gonna happen. I have a couple theories. One theory that I actually think is what's gonna happen, but I don't want it to be. What's gonna happen? I knew it! I knew it! I don't want this to be the twist! Riley Sager, Riley Sager, you have time. You have time to take it back. I just don't, I don't want that. What? <laughs> what? Oh my God, what the fuck? Oh my god, Ryan Sager, I doubted you. I doubted you. I doubted you. I finished it. I finished it and my initial rating that I pers perspected, prophesized, 
The thing I thought originally was that it was going to be a five out of five. And I was freaking right. Like I went on a whole roller coaster. I was like, no, I think that if he does this plot twist, it's going to be a three out of five. And then he did the plot twist and then he did another plot twist. And I was like, wait, am I back on board? And then there was another plot twist. And I was like, oh my God, I might be back on board. And then there was another plot twist. And I was like, oh, I love this map. Okay. Let's talk about plot twists. Okay. So, um, mm, Riley Sager, this had that kind of end of book ride, like how Lock Every Door did. But in Lock Every Door, I mean, I think it was even more of a ride, maybe, in Lock Every Door. But in Home Before Dark, it really was like plot twist, plot twist, plot twist. And you were like, I don't even know where we're going anymore, but I'm so excited about it because I don't want to spoil anything. I don't want to spoil anything, but <laughs> there was something I was really worried was going to happen. And then it did happen. But then everything else after that, I could not have anticipated. Like, I could not have seen any of that shit coming. And, like, maybe you did. And if you did, good for you. But I was blown away. I was blown away. Like, okay, I'm not gonna spoil anything. But if you have read the book, the, oh my god, the plot twist of Miss Pennyface blew my freaking mind. Um, or, like, even, like, Mr. Shadow. Like, all that shit. The armoire. Guys, the armoire. What? I was like, that was so spooky to me. Like the plot twist with the armoire was so real life terrifying. Like I was like actually shook. I'm like, that is so scary. Ah, uh, no, absolutely not. Like, no. So yes, um, one thing that I don't think is a spoiler, like I don't consider this a spoiler, but something that was really making me mad through the whole book is where is her freaking mom? Where's her mom? Like, Maggie's mom. Hello? I was so annoyed. I was like, I swear to God, does this bitch not love her daughter? Like, where is she? I get that she's halfway across the world, but, like, show up. Show- come through. Like, mom, the fuck? Anyway, also, I really wanted to see this relationship, this best friendship between Allie and Maggie. I was like, mm-hmm. We love it. And I was like, oh my God, they need to be, like, asexual, like, aromantic, like, HGTV. Anyway little hearth in hand, but like women. I don't know. Anyway, that's a tangent. Um, I freaking loved it. I think that I would highly, highly recommend this book to anybody. I do think that this is scary. It's not like, I didn't find it scary like I was thinking about it later or that it like freaked me out or, or like unsettled me, but it has like jump scares, you know, like in a movie it has like jump scares, but in a book form however that works. But uh, I do think that if you are somebody who gets scared easily, this might not be for you. Um, if you're somebody who likes kind of bordering between not horror, but like being scared. Or no, no. Okay, here's the thing. If you like scary movies, you're going to love this book. It's such, it's that perfect. Like this felt like a scary movie to me. It felt like Amityville horror, but not like horror. You know what I'm saying? Like just like the story behind Amityville, maybe. I freaking loved it. Five out of five. I'm just obsessed. Like I can't wait to put this on my bookshelf. Also, I'm obsessed with this cover. And I don't even know what else to say. Um, read it. Gabby was right. Olivia was right. Everybody. I didn't even think like, I can't even remember. There's a bunch of other booktubers that talked about this and they were all absolutely correct. And I also want to thank you guys for waiting so long to see this because I did this footage and then it's been so long and I completely forgot about it. So thank you. And also thank you for watching this video. I will have my Goodreads and my Instagram and my Amazon link down below. If you want to follow me on any of that stuff, you can. I would love that. I would love it even more if you subscribe. And I'm considering doing a The Secret Life of Addie LaRue reading vlog, but because the election's happening right now, I haven't really been filming anything because I'm freaking out because I'm very scared. Georgia is literally a 0.2% difference right now. And they're 99%. And I'm so scared. If Georgia goes blue, I'm going to cry. Like, I'm going to fucking cry. I'm going to cry because I'm going to be so happy. Like, I'm going to be so happy. Like, I'm going to be so happy. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. And I'm going to go and drink some iced coffee, maybe? Yeah, I'm already hyped. But, you know, we're having a lot of feelings right now. Anyway, let's wrap this up. Have a great day. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.